busy but moving. The situation at Dublin Airport today was worlds away from the queuing chaos at the weekend, but many people arriving here weren't taking any chances. We're going to Malta on a 24 flight and we decided to come early because of the queues. We were here six hours in advance, um, so now it's about four hours before our flight. We were flying to Amsterdam and we came four hours, so yeah, can't be too, sa- can't be too sure. More than 1,400 people at the weekend missed their flights because of long delays. Dublin Airport Authority has come up with a plan to make sure it doesn't happen again. This weekend, there will be at least 40 extra security staff on duty, including some redeployed from Cork and new recruits. And more than 10 security lanes will open at peak times. As part of its contingency plan, DAA will control entry to the terminals at particularly busy times by triaging people based on their flight times. And entry will require proof like booking confirmation or boarding passes. Those who arrive too early will have to wait in a holding area. Bad weather covers, seating and toilets will be installed as soon as possible and consideration will be given to people who require special assistance. The new advice is for people to arrive two and a half hours before a short haul flight to Europe or the UK and three and a half hours before a long haul flight. But if you need to drop off bags or check in, you need to give yourself an extra hour. And because the opening times of these desks can vary, people can check in advance with their airlines. 300 new security staff have been recruited and another 70 are due to start soon. But the full complement won't be working on the floor for another month. And unions say keeping them is another challenge. €14.14 Euros and 14 cents is not attracting them. And for a lot of people that have already started, they've made the decision to leave. So the terms and conditions and the pay and the reward that's being offered by the DAA for such a hugely responsible job is totally inadequate. People travelling this weekend can expect security queues of around an hour, but it's hoped this plan will mean everyone will make it to the gate and take off on time. Laura Hogan, RTE News.